the 21st century philosopher Dominic Toretto <laughs> is famous for saying, I don't have friends, I got family. And, <laughs> and it's on that note that I get the pleasure of welcoming everyone, all of Ben and Allison's family here tonight to celebrate with us. I suspect most of us have heard that simple, even obligatory phrase, we are gathered here today, many times before. But as I reflected on these last 18 months and what we've all been going through, the phrase has newfound significance. And as I now look at it, all of you who have come from near and far, it's a huge reminder that none of us should take for granted what a special gift it is for loved ones to come together. When I sat down to write this toast, I started scrolling through my sister's feed for inspiration. And by complete coincidence, I stumbled upon the caption she wrote for my own wedding. Very simply, it said, I have a brother-in-law now. How neat. And to echo what my cousin Mark said, the fact that so many of us travel to come here is telling. It really shows how many lives this couple has touched. You're both fun. I think that's obvious by everybody that's, that's here and has hung out with you. But more important than that uh, is that you're both very selfless. And I think you both actually amplify these things together and are, are better people by being together. In a sense, you are drift compatible. Uh, so uh, cheers to you guys, cheers to the, the newlyweds. I'm uh, looking forward to having a, a great time tonight. So. For as much as they have in common, I know they also do a great job pushing and challenging each other. Because the best relationships are those when you and your partner are able to grow together, learn together, and make new experiences together. And Ben, I, I know in the last few years, I've seen the positive influence you've had on Allison. And I can't think of a better person for her to embark on her life journey with. It looks beautiful, my dear. It looks absolutely beautiful. Thank you. You look nice. Thank you. What do you think? It looks awesome. Yeah? Yes. You ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. I obviously know the bride and groom and spent some dedicated time with them, both together and separately as we prepared for the ceremony. They each reflected on their own relationship, how it developed, and what they love about each other. And my conversations with them reinforce something that I've always thought about their relationship, that they are perfect for each other. I, Benjamin, take you, Allison, to be my wife. I, Benjamin, take you, Allison, to be my wife. I, Allison, take you, Benjamin, to be my husband. I, Allison, take you, Benjamin, to be my husband. I will share my life with you. Learn and grow with you. And build our future together. I will support you through tough times. Celebrate with you and have it. I promise to give you compassion, honesty, loyalty, mm -hmm. and respect. <laughs> Commit and I will always be your love, partner, and life, and friend. From this day forward, I promise that you will never walk away. Allison and Ben, you are here today in the presence of family and friends, and have declared your love and commitment to each other. You have made heartfelt vows, so by the power of your love, and by the power vested in me, it is my honor and delight to announce you husband and wife. You may now kiss.
Ladies and gentlemen, the newly married couple, Allison and Ben. Chicken. 